So Ronald Kabat, uh, Norton is the new batsman. And uh, to tell you why he's already there, it's going to be Paul Allett and Bruce Adley. Thanks, Ranjit. Renaka Morton into the side today in place of uh, Shivnarayan Chanderpaul, who's got food poisoning. Morton, uh, 23 games, average is 34. Strike rate of 61. Best, he's got 100. And he's got a task on his hands now because uh, West Indies, after a decent start, just lost that third wicket. They could have done without that. Shane Watson straight into the attack. Bit of pace, bit of bounce that undid, undid Gale. And... Uh, Australians will be pleased with their uh, opening salvos in this competition. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, Morton will be pretty pleased with his opening salvo as well. That's the shot of the day. It's 51 for three. Think about that, Bruce. <laughs> He's batting 400. <laughs> what a beautiful shot. It was right in the slot for him. But a decent... Decent stride forward towards the line of the ball. Something we're seeing today from the West Indians that we didn't see the other day. So Lee brought into the attack uh, as soon as Lara did come into bat. But that's nicely played through the offside. That might run down to the boundary. Yes, it does. So it's Handsomely played through the offside. End of the over. 72 for four. Yes, that has uh, been what's uh, what's been tough here for the West Indians. Back to Australia. Lara now has uh, three of 25 deliveries. He just hasn't got any bad balls, has he, Ranjit? In one of those days where they've just been spot on there, not looking to do much to him. Definitely that uh, wall of attrition. I'm going to starve him, strangle him, and keep squeezing. Oh, that's bludgeoned away. Put it with mighty force through the offside. That, he does give you the impression that he loves giving it a good uh, whack there, Morton. This will ease things up a little bit for the West Indians. Isn't a defensive look about that uh, setup at the crease? It's unlike uh, some of the subcontinental players who, uh, with their supple wrists at this stage of the innings, work the ball around. Ronaldo Morton has had to uh, resort to playing some powerful shots. It's not someone who's got supple wrists. It's almost like Atapati. I mean, he was superb last night, wasn't he, Ranjit? How's the ball come on and now? Just work it away. Flick it away, open the blade. It's almost that line, a touch shorter on the old stump and it's played late underneath the eyes and just helped on its way somewhere through the league side. It does help when you've, you've played a lot of cricket here and you're used to conditions. There's big bottom heavy bats they employ when they get on wickets like this. It's almost little defensive pushes there's because of that bat. You just gathers pace and can beat the inner ring. That's neat to put away. So they'll need... Uh these singles to try and uh, keep the scoreboard going. The question is 92 for four, so it's Brad Hogg to continue. Oh. Drives, but Morton still finds the fielder. To take you to the next half hour commentary. It's going to be Jeffrey Dujong and Lakshman Sivaramakrishnan. Thank you, Ranjit. Looked like it was the wrong one. I think Australians have bowled extremely well. All the bowlers have bowled particularly well. The fielding has been outstanding. And from the back of the hand, it was the googly. Looking to play against the turn was Morton. 
now. Brian Lara batting at number six. Bit of a surprise to me, Dujo. Well, I think uh, having sent, sending in Dwayne Smith early to try and get things going while the field was in and the ball was hard. Uh, just pushed him down the order a bit. Oh, nice hogger. Been a few surprises in this match so far. Lara at number six, like I mentioned, probably to handle the spinners on a pitch where the ball will turn and bounce. Be a white, yes, it is. So pitching just around the next time, turning. He's going to find this time just a single. Even Martin, the man in the deep. They're doing what's required at this point, the West Indies. Boundary is hard to come by. Oh. It's gone fine. Good work for the man at deep square leg. He reached the fence. Brings up the 100 for West Indies. Also ends the over, 100 for four. You take them any way you get them. And this was one of the few really bad balls that Andrew Simons has bowled. Seem to get a little bat on that, Morton. Change of angle against the right hander. For Nathan Bracken, decide to go around the stumps. Morton's gone the aerial route. Could he be taking his drop? And would you believe it? It's Ricky Ponting who's put down that catch. It was a difficult one, but you'd expect somebody like Ponting to take it. Well, it was a real get-out shot. Anunaka Martin hit it straight up in the air. And this is something that you don't see very often, folks. Ricky Ponting dropping a catch. I've seen him take much more difficult ones than that. It just goes to show even the best can make mistakes. Just a single. Hopefully, Martin will sober up now, having gotten that chance. These things tend to happen after breaks. Didn't get hold of it and hit it straight up in the air, Martin. Seemed in control of it. Down it went. Trying to be aggressive after the drinks break. So Lara play a glorious shot. Noko Martin feeling for the delivery. Like the last delivery. He played away from the body. It's just that break in concentration with the water break. Just forgot that you have to let the ball come to you. You can't go looking for it. Reaches again, Morton. Lucky to get away with that one. Just a single. End of the over. It's 132 for four. We're on the offside inside the ring. It's a man at mid wicket. Just three. Now the long off is coming in.
Shane Watson had a good time in uh, Kuala Lumpur, the Tri Series. Bowled pretty well, batted well up the order. It's important for these youngsters to follow up their performances with some more good ones. Picked up four for 33 against the West Indies in Kuala Lumpur. Also the man of the match on that occasion. Bowls what's referred to as a very stiff ball. Hits the bat very hard, big broad shoulders. Delivery actually got away with it. This one sat up to be hit. Didn't quite get it the way he wanted to, Morton. But quick thinking there from Ricky Ponting. Keeping Brian Lara honest. Tony Gregg was mentioning in Kuala Lumpur something about Shane Watson that he actually went to a school she teaches you about body language he made a lot of eye contact with the West Indian batsman and the Indian batsman but for the moment I just get the feeling he's too tired because of the heat and humidity always beware of a fast bowler that smiles with you things nice and tight five deliveries no runs projected six and over 229 seems a bit more likely than 261 at this point And a single to end the over. It's 133 for four. Let's hope they can keep going, Ranjit. Yes, there must be some concern in the Australian ranks. Drive set in there, but that's all the bowler said, and that's running down to the boundary for four. Another very, very good shot by Morton. Yeah, this is good stuff. There's been a real sense of purpose from the West Indians today. They, they were embarrassed against Sri Lanka. All out for 80, their lowest score. Slower ball, he picked it straight through the line. And uh, their footwork's been better. The ball's been coming on better for them, mind you. Around the wicket. Yes, when you have uh, a pair like Lara and Morton, Morton particularly after he's been there for such a long time. There must be some sort of desperation in the Australian ranks because uh, they probably see a situation here where the West Indians could run up a total as close as uh, around 232-40 and on a pitch really which hasn't had much of a reputation, that can be sizable. He's on 49, Morton. Slow ball. He's made it. Great 50. It certainly has been a very, very good innings by Morton. Coming in at... Uh, coming early in the innings and uh, finding wickets falling around him. He stood his ground and uh, now with the captain. Certainly are taking the West Indians uh, away to something worthwhile. There it is, 50 from 63 with five fours against... Uh, a top-class attack. Lots of a variety in this attack. One ball remaining in this over. 
It's to Lara and another single. The running between wickets has been good. They've been very busy. 141 for four. Yes, you could see that the confidence has come in the West Indian batting. And uh, this is how Renaka Martin uh, made his half century. Some wonderful shots, both on the back and front foot. And also bludgeoned some of the deliveries away. Powerful strike of the ball. With the pace and hits it over the fence. That's short and it's pulled away. That's four more. You can't bowl. Doesn't matter how quick you are, you cannot afford to bowl short on these slower Indian pitches. So that is that signs of the Australians cracking up to some extent, looking to try and bounce Morton. But Morton uh, stood tall again. And again, these pitches are slow. The ball really doesn't come on and the bounce yeah. also flat with the softer ball. It's hit to mid-wicket. Well, the Aussies will be really happy to see that it's still bouncing. And it's on the Yorkers. And he really should have stopped that. And it's gone for four and spilled what was almost perfect over. Two on five for five. Slower ball's gone many a mile. That's uh, two tiers up into the Grand Old Pavilion. Even with all his experience, he would be a brave man to bowl it. A follow-up slow ball. This has been well struck. Still, and he has swung. Top effort from Morton. He's on to 86 now from 99 balls. It's still time to get to three figures. Thought McGraw might revert to tight and bowl. The Yorker again. Why he needs to bowl anything else, I don't really know. It's always the temptation, isn't it? Is he lining me up? Should I look to change it? It didn't work for him on that occasion. And, uh, swung through in true typical West Indian style. Great follow-up from McGraw, though. McGraw will have realised that uh, he's going to hit that ball for six. Sliced away off the edge. Big over this for the West Indians. Ten so far. Morton. He's on strike. He's going to get to 100. He's going to have to get to the other end. Last ball from McGraw. Down the ground, not time though. Nice. And just the one. 2.30 for five. Last ball of the innings then. And a comfortable single. Takes the West Indies to 2.34 for six from their 50 overs. Been a super effort from Renarko Morton. Promoted in the order to bat at number five. He's made 90 off 103 balls with seven fours and one six. And he's put his team in with a great chance here against the Australians. They'll need to score 235 to win this match. Question is, who has the advantage? It's been a good workmanlike performance from the Australians. They were good today, nothing spectacular. West Indies struggle to get going, but uh, the brilliant partnership between Lara and Morton has really given them a great opportunity here to topple the world's leading one day summit. Gale made 24 at the top of the order, but Hines, Smith, and Sarwan went early before Morton and Lara came together. Lara made 71, he's injured his back in the process, but Morton has gone on to 90 not out and the West Indies finished 234 for six we can join Geoffrey Dujon down in front of the pavilion
Thanks, guys. I'm with Renaco Martin here. Renaco, 90 well played runs. These conditions seem to suit you. Uh, it was tough. It was tough in the early going, but um, I think all we needed was a, was a good partnership. I mean, and the skipper um, put on a partnership there. I think we was more aiming about 240, 250. But we're thankful for the score that we got still. Well, at one point you were outscoring him. Was there a plan for him to take it easy while you went at it? No, it was just about um, you know pacing ourselves and I mean taking whatever the bowler gives us. I mean it's a tough wicket to bat on. You just got to back yourself and, and be selective. Well, it worked out pretty well. Good luck later on. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you.